Happy Juice Birthday, Scarab. She's delicious. Gemini, welcome to your love tarot reading. Abracadabra, baby. Tonight is the night, but we are out on the town. <clears throat> your mommy's getting dinner with you. It's a little date night. We're doing tarot, getting dinner. I apologize for the lighting. I think it should be okay. It's kind of like, mm. but isn't the tree gorgeous? <laughs> like, we're by a gorgeous tree. All right. So Gemini, uh, today we're doing you versus them, uh, but today we're not necessarily assuming a rift or separation. Take it as it resonates. We're going to see what's going on between you and your person, uh, whoever that is to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, local Catholic priest. I don't know, but Belle, I'm no judgment. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't cancel me. Um, all right, and so yeah, it could be for some of you it's going to be a rift or separation, and for some of you it might be a new person in your life or you know someone that you're dealing with at the moment. Who, I don't know, like it's a bit of a mystery. Let's see. Please show me angels of love for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in October. What is the energy for them and their person? Also, Boo Boo, uh, I just posted a video about, with an update on my situation, with my, situ with my stalking kind of ex-boyfriend situation. So, uh, if you want to see the trauma, you know, this channel is very real. If you're new to the channel, a lot of real things happen here. I live in Cyprus, the goddess, the island of the goddess Aphrodite, and, you know, this is my life. Thank you for all your support as well, my Boo Boo. You make me, you know, you make me want to, like, you just make me want to love the world. I'm so, so grateful and so honored to have you, my Pippin. All right, Gemini, you've got someone on your hands who is a little bit of a wild card, the Two of Pentacles. They don't know, you know, if it's someone new and, like, there's no drama between the two of you, but you're trying to figure them out. It's someone who's trying to, like, figure out what is the next best move. If it's someone that you're separated from in a ref, um, hmm, is someone who's trying real hard to come up with a plan that's going to allow them to outsmart the Gemini, which is like, good luck, cross-watcher. <laughs> okay, these energies can't switch if you're cross-watching, but you know what I mean, like, someone's trying to figure this out because they do see you as their ultimate home, the Four of Wands. Let me pull one more card. Someone did a bit though, the Two of Cups, they do love you. They do see you as their soulmate. It may have taken this rift or separation for them to see you in, uh, in this way. Someone sees you as a soulmate, they don't know how to go about it. If it's someone new in your life, it's someone who's not like native to the place that you're dating in. So it's like, you know, whatever, like they're, they were born in a different city, town, country. Mm, but I think they came from far away. And they do see you as their home. They see the potential of a family. If you already have a family uh, with them, if it's more established, this is somebody who mm, wants to come home because all alone is just not so good. They also feel like, despite of everything, you're just like the perfect match. You're like the perfect, you know, you know, you're, you're two little peas in a pod, you know, despite of everything. It's the perfect dance. You might be opposites, but the dance is perfect to them. They miss everything about you. They want to do justice by you. You got justice here in their intentions. There's a lot of travel here. So if you broke up with someone or you're in a separation, I think that person went away to a different place, like a different country. Also, Boo Boo, give your mommy a kiss. Mm, let's do the intro. Welcome to Blue Angel Love. Tara, my baby, I love you, I see you, and I appreciate you. Uh, let me know in the comments below, Gemini, why are you so scrumptious? <laughs> Tell everyone why you're so scrumptious. You are my lucky stars. I always say, say this, but it's true, because I'm a Scorpio, but I got that Gemini lifestyle, you know? I feel like I wear the, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the Gemini is my life. Um, Ace of Cups, yeah, listen, this person loves you a lot. I think they could have had like, mm, you know, in the past, they could have tended to be like difficult to figure out. You could have met someone at school or at work and you were always wondering like, does this person love, love me or like me? I feel like it, but I'm not sure. And um, the card behind it is the five of wands. So yeah, conflicted feelings. You're always like, it's like they never approached you or they didn't give you like a clear sign. You're just like, does Jerry like, I don't know why Jerry, but does Jerry like me? You know what I mean? Hmm, very interesting. You could have a, like a mutual group of friends or you're like from like maybe that's how you met it won't be for every one of you but that might resonate for some and you were just never sure and if it's someone you met on the apps like you know bimbo himbo anyone between from tinder um it is someone who you've always given you mixed messages but they were i'm telling you now that they're they were always watching you like from the start like third eye <laughs> psych club like 
boom, like, you know, the cyclop has one eye, but that one eye is all for you, you know? <laughs> I only have, I guess the cyclops has to say, like, mm, I only have an eye for you, you know what I mean? So, you know, if it, okay, it's not the jokes about one eyes, but you know what I'm saying, like, that person was like, I mean, it's a mythological figure, so, but that, per, don't cancel me, that person, like, has that one eye only on you, both eyes, actually, but you felt like maybe they didn't. That was always a problem here. And you have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, there was like mixed messages. And I, I feel very strongly, Gemini, you met this person through work or like, if it's not through work and it's like the apps or like some kind of a romantic situation, they share interests or like there's something about this that, you know, it may be in the future, you're, you're gonna end up working together or doing a business together. I don't know, but there's something here about working together. And maybe you're trying to work them out as well. The Empress for you, and behind the Empress we have the Fool. So you're like, well, you know, I'm ready for a commitment. I like this person, but do they like me? You can never quite tell, and you do want to be played uh, for a Fool. You felt like this person was not making a choice, and I see that clearly now. You know, if it's someone new in your life, or is someone that you're dealing with right now, you feel like you don't know if you like, they like you. They they love you, like with them, scrumptiousness. They, look at these gluten-free fries I got. Like, they love you like I love gluten-free fries. Like, legit. <laughs> but, you know, they're unsure of themselves. They're, you know, they're not sure. They're not sure if you're going to say no to them. It's not a bad person, but it might be an annoying energy. And it could be also someone who feels like, you know, they need to focus on their career right now. Career is coming up a lot in this reading. Like, their career right now or their job. And they don't want to like complicate things. Maybe it's a client of yours. I don't know. Like something along those lines. Um, and but, but if it was an established connection, it may have been that you felt like, you know, even if you were married, this person was giving you mixed messages about the next stage of the relationship. You know, when are you going to propose? When are you going to accept my proposal? You know, however you're playing it. When are we going to have children? Someone here was ready to be a parent with the same energy and the other person wasn't were like was stalling a little bit and like the love was real but you really felt like there was like a lot of inner conflict around a lot of issues and it was very difficult because you're perfect together but you know some things were getting in the way that person was dithering on uh, on making some choices and making you feel safe in the connection they know they need to do justice by you right now Gemini, if, if there were like divorce proceedings in place and stuff like that, this person wants to help them, by the way. Um, and if it's a totally new energy, like, you know, this person 100% sees you as marriage material. The Three of Wands, you know, this person is getting ready to take action. So let's see what they're going to do. It's taking them a while. It could be um, two weeks, two months, two hours, to two days since, you know, your questions began. Maybe the, the rift or separation, for some of you could even be two years. Somebody needed a cycle of two years to understand how much of a deep soulmate connection you have. Yeah, the nine of wands. Someone's coming in. Okay, well, they're definitely coming in, but it's going to take them a while to fail. Might take, it might take another, you know, depending on your situation, could be nine weeks. For some of you, even nine months, you know, especially if this person has traveled overseas. Because that's a possibility here, too, with the two of pentacles. Could take a while, but this person is coming in to finish some unfinished business and they know they need to because that is the right thing to do. Karma is on their back. They feel, you know, karma's whispering in their ear, like, do it, do it, do it. They will do it, but bill. All right, this is what I have for you today, Gemini. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out. And if you are interested in a personal reading, a magic spell, or coaching, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time. My boo stay squeaky, stay good, just stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs>